Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm going to deal with the balance pipe today in my pipe work videos. So this is the drawing for the balance pipe in the Sweet Pea book. And uh, normally you put a saddle tank on which makes it so the uh, tank finishes uh, approximately on the centre line of the boiler. That's why you put this arrangement on onto the saddle tank. Because I'm doing pannier tanks, I'm going to have to... Well, I'm not going to have to do it different, but I am going to do it different. I'm going to do a slightly different arrangement here. So, I've been busy on lathe, I've made my union nuts and my, and my nipples, or olives, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm using one of my globe valves, which I made in one of my previous videos, which I'll put a link to. And I've got a big piece of brass hexagon stock, which I'm going to make the manifold out of, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got the quarter pipe, so I've got some offcuts of pipe, which I'm going to straighten out and reuse. So I've got everything I need, I've just got to go ahead and uh, make this arrangement here. So what I'm going to do then, here's my pannier tanks. I'm going to, because my pannier tanks are come, uh, coming to the bottom of my boiler, I've no need to make this semicircle. I'm just going to come out with a, a, I'm calling it a U shape. So I'm going to put two union nuts onto the tank. I'm going to come off with a piece of quarter pipe with a right angle bend on it and I'm going to go into a manifold or valve body, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it's all completed now and I'm ready for fitting it to loco. Uh, so I've not really done much other than I'll, I'll explain what I've done on lathe. I've just made this, I already had my low valve, which you can see in a previous video. I already had my union nuts, which I've shown you many times, which I make. I've just made this little valve body here, and it's got a, a hole straight through it, and then a counterbore to accept the pipe, and the pipe's been soldered in, and the olive soldered on, or the nipple soldered onto the union nut there. Then I've drilled an hole in the side, at the, at the relevant height, to make it horizontal under me, underneath me boiler. Soldered this pipe in, this quarter pipe, so all that's fixed and rigid now. Then on the other side, just below the pipe, <clears throat> I've uh, drilled and tapped it to accept my globe valve, which in, in my case is 5 16 by 40 thread. And then it's going to, I've put this blanking plug at the bottom, uh, you've no need to do that if you don't want, you could just take the valve off to clean it out if it ever needs cleaning, but I thought I'd just put a blanking plug at the bottom. And then I've made this little uh, outlet adapter, and all it is, it's a, a small union nut soldered onto a piece of pipe, and that's going to screw onto my valve. And that's going to come the foot, come through the foot plate, so that it clears. The water's just going to drop down past the sides of the wheels. I'm ready for fitting my balance pipe now at Loco, and hopefully, if my measurements are correct, everything should, everything should marry up to both the tanks. Short outlet pipe there, and what I've done, I've drilled through the foot plate of the loco, and I've just put a little brass insert threaded into the hole of the foot plate just to make it look cosmetically better than just a hole. And my plan is for this just to come through foot plate and then screw straight onto the valve there.
That's it for the balance pipe then, that's all piped in and secured now. I'll catch you on the next part, finishing pipe work off on tanks, and uh, we'll take it from there. So I'm going to sign off for now then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.